Hey beautiful biscuits, welcome back to the Wholesome Feed. We are gonna do another <clears throat> Where Should You Move Out of Washington the Hell Pit 2. <laughs> These are always, over the last year or two, have been some of my most popular videos on here, <laughs> which is funny because I just started doing them out of my own market research because I was like, where could <clears throat> we move? It's not Washington because Washington is a very beautiful state. It has many wonderful things, but it has a lot of cost living issues, a lot of crime issues. <laughs> um, and there's, unless you're really into rock climbing, mountain climbing, hiking, backpacking, there's not a ton of stuff to do. Um, and Seattle is a city I would never want to live in if I could avoid it. So we've been doing research over the last couple of years, trying to figure out if there's a better spot for our family to move to something that fits, you know, our laid back, gentle kind of lifestyle. Um, and this state came up because my sister, who has been living us, with us since last fall, brought this up as a state because she has a really dear friend that lives there. Um, and they actually moved from Western Washington to Wisconsin. So my sister and I were discussing whether we would move there. Would that be a place? No, I've road tripped to Wisconsin. I have never lived there. Um, <clears throat> I have extended family friends that went to school in Madison and that have lived in Wisconsin, but I don't have a big perspective on it as a state. So I started looking into it. You know, I do a little Zillowin on the side. <laughs> Am I the only one we drop a little house icon down in the comments if you do this too? Do you sometimes just like to Zillow in random spots? You're just like... I don't know. I'm going to look at this place. <laughs> I love to do it. I always do that when I'm traveling. I'm like, I wonder what the house I around here. But also as we have seriously researched places, I've been like, oh, well, let's first, let's start there and then read more about it and go on to Reddit and um, read lists of good places to, excuse me, biscuits. I stole Pear Bear's non-cat mug that she got. Uh, when I say she got, I mean, I bought this for her at home. <laughs> but it was just the right size for something to drink. Um, while well, I have my months long bronchitis, <clears throat> Ooh, preferably somewhere with less, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Less pollen, I think. Okay. So things that I always ask myself because I'm a distracted monkey and I will just forget what I was talking about, <laughs> but things I always look at when I'm doing my criteria and you know, biscuits, we've talked about Florida, Tennessee, Alabama on here. We've talked about Texas, California. I was born in California. <laughs> um, there's so many different interesting states that all have such unique cultural elements. And Wisconsin is a very fun state. So I don't ever compare these states to trash talk other states. I'm just giving an honest opinions or like data that I have read about. <clears throat> so things that I always look at, and you biscuits are gonna laugh at me for this. I know I laugh at myself for it. Proximity to Trader Joe's, um, Costco, some kind of indoor kids museum play things, maybe some trampoline parks, indoor water parks, outdoor nature, hiking that's kid friendly, uh, beaches I always look for of some variety because I love water, lakes, rivers, oceans, you know, I'm a water boy, even though I'm Leo, I'm a water boy. And my kids are total water babies. Um, cost of living in comparison also to job market. So maybe you're bringing your job with you, or maybe you plan to go job hunting there. Does it have an affordable cost of living? Like we really have been considering moving to Florida the last couple of years. We have put a lot of research into it. We've talked to real estate agents. We've been like, what can we afford to move with? Um, and really Florida has just skyrocketed cost of living. And you know, I just realized this shirt really blends in with my um, skin tone. God, that almost looks like I'm not wearing anything. I am wearing it, so I'm wearing sure it's wear. <laughs> I just realized that looking at the camera. Um, and so it's, we're more hesitant on our Florida concept as a family just because it costs so much. And for us as a family, and this not, might not be your case, but for us as a family, we're looking for a lower cost of living, less hustle and bustle, less crime, um, more, family friendly. Western Washington isn't a super family friendly place per se. Um, there's a lot of good things about it, but 
it's not the best for raising a young family, especially if you're kind of a non-traditional homeschooler and there's just, it's, it's got some, some vibes on that, you know. Um, school districts might be something really important for you. I was talking to a real estate agent, that was one of her first questions, and I went home, oh, well, we actually homeschool, you know, so it's not a huge deal to us, because probably we aren't gonna, well, I mean, well, who knows, who knows? If you'd asked me a couple years ago what we were gonna be doing, I, who knows? <laughs> but school districts are always something to look at. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm trying not to like totally hack on camera here. Sorry, biscuits. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check my notes. Oh, this is a good one, vibe of the town you pick. Okay, so we moved a couple years ago to a different town that was more of a small city compared to our little small suburbs that we had been living in because we wanted to be closer to family and we wanted to be closer to um, support services for my son who was going through a really hard time on his spectrum and uh, demand avoidance things and it was just it was really a big struggle for the family and I wanted to get him as much help as we could so we made a big move we pulled up stakes and went scoodadoodle um, and I don't regret that because it has helped him be so much happier um, which like that's my goal as a mom is to just give my kids an environment that they thrive in but the vibe of the town you pick we really have not as a family meshed with where we moved to it is not our value system, it's not our pace of life, um, it's not our interest level, it's just not a town that we vibe with. And it's funny because it's a town we know super well because we have family that has lived here and we haven't lived all that far from it, right? Um, but living in it has been a totally different vibe. And we learned a lot of valuable lessons about what we prioritize as a family by checking out town vibes. So if you're looking at Wisconsin, also think to yourself, um, what towns in particular are your vibe? Because that's really going to change the experience you have moving. Okay, okay. I love. I'm going to have to read this because I have a goldfish memory. Um, so I looked up the crime statistics for Washington to Wisconsin because you, my whole family makes fun of me. When I say family, I mean like my outer siblings and their spouses <laughs> and my all that outer family. Um, because they think I exaggerate crime. Biscuits. In the few years that we have lived in this town, we have been in the proximity, and I mean like within a couple hundred feet, of two shootings. This is not a dodgy town, by the way. We didn't move to like some sketchy Tacoma or something. Um, two shootings, an attempted home invasion, and at least half a dozen thefts of stuff from our mailbox. Our mailbox got destroyed. Um, in fact, I had somebody come into my house for some, a meeting that I was doing and I think they stole a pair of headphones while they were here. I mean, it's insane. We've had babysitters steal stuff out of our, our house, like right in front of us and then deny it. Um, it it's crazy. We've had our car broken into. Um, yes, my brother's had his car stolen broken into and then I think somebody stole his lead nuts too and it's just it's just insane <laughs> so I like to look up crime statistics and you got to be careful looking up state statistics because they're so different like if you're looking up a major city that's known for crime but then the rest of the state is huge and it doesn't have as much crime you got to take that in consideration so Wisconsin 17th lowest violent crime rate and the eighth lowest property crime rate. That's not too bad. The Washington, Washingtonians <laughs> worry more about crime and their personal safety than like a vast majority of Americans when they're polled. So crime rate in Washington increased by 38% last year. And that's just overall, that's not even the bad towns. Violent crime increased 19% than the national rate uh, and property crime Overall, not like what it expanded last year, but overall this la this year is 72% higher than the national average in Washington State. So Wisconsin, you're going to be safer off if you decide to move there. <clears throat> um, you're going to get a lot more snow than most of Washington is going to give you. So you're going to get bursty temperatures. But you got Green Bay, you got Lake Winnebago, you got Madison, you got delicious pickle foods. And cheese curds, my friends, cheese curds. <laughs> Um, I think the reason 
it doesn't fit our family is that there's such a big distance between trying to get to places. Like my, you know, I was talking just now about uh, Costco or Trader Joe's, right? Um, I was doing a map, a map quest for I aged my millennial self there. I did a map, Google Maps on um, different little towns to grow, like just grocery stores, to like Trader Joe's, to a Costco, to a kids museum. These are kind of like my three criteria that tells me what the area is like. And we're talking like three hours each way for a lot of places, sometimes four hours. It was big driving distances. And so for me, I don't want to be in a city, but I don't want to be four hours away from things, if that makes sense. So I think Wisconsin would be really fun if you didn't mind being near a town. Um, you could live closer to the Minnesota area. Uh, their tax rate isn't too bad. So that's nice. It's not like California taxes uh, or New York level taxes. And it's beautiful. Like Wisconsin is just a beautiful state. It really is. <laughs> so overall, I don't think I would move to Wisconsin, but I can totally see why people do move there. Is It's a really nice area. I think there's a lot of outdoor things you can do and you really just get left alone, which is a nice vibe. In fact, I know a real estate agent who moved her whole family to Wisconsin, and then they actually moved back to Western Washington, and I don't know the reason why, and I'm so, I should ask her, I should reach out to her and be like, so tell me what your view on Wisconsin was, because I'm genuinely curious about that. <laughs> um, uh, tell me in the comments, uh, have you been to Wisconsin and would you move there? What do you think of it compared to Washington? You know, you're gonna get a little bit more sunlight in Wisconsin because even though it's so much colder, Western Washington is extremely gray for just prolonged periods of time. So we aren't talking snow, we aren't talking rain, we aren't talking big thunderstorms, just like gray with a vague damp drizzle. Uh, so for me, almost any weather is better than that, which is why we have so enjoyed as a family going through. The kids and I will even watch YouTube videos on different states to try and get the vibe of them because we've turned it into a game. We like have a little manifestation uh, list and board as a family that we're like, what do we want to be doing in the next couple of years? Like, what's our, what's our dream? Because I really involve my kids in our family decisions. Um, it's not like a, I've decided we're going to go here and that's it, kids. Obviously, I'm making the decisions, but I'm hearing, you know, what, what are things that they dream of that they need and I'm helping them process the idea of different adventures because they did not like moving to the town that I made them move to. It has been good for them overall, which is again, sometimes you have to make executive parent decisions, but this time I'm trying to be a lot more conscious of really hyping up the places we are thinking about moving to. Um, you know, in this economy, that's a hard thing to do, but we keep trying. <laughs> okay, Biscuits, I would love to hear in the comments your thoughts on Wisconsin. What are the best things about Wisconsin? It's a fun state. I've actually spent way more time in Minnesota, I will admit, <clears throat> because an ex of mine had all of their family was from Minnesota, and so we would go there once or twice a year and spend extended periods of time with everybody, and I got to know that area and really fell in love with that area. I thought it was so beautiful. I, I even... My ex and I even talked about moving to uh, Minnesota because it's just so nice and beautiful and that never ended up happening, but it's, it's an area of the country that I really think it's overlooked and kind of made fun of by West Coasters. They're like, oh, upper Midwest, why would you move there? Because it's got beautiful people and beautiful country and great culture and food, you know? Um, the West Coast can be very snobby about why anybody wouldn't want to live in the West Coast. and. I don't know, maybe that's, you know, they know that it's kind of funky and so they have to get defensive about it if you live in Washington. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see you over on Instagram between this video and the next. Don't forget, scroll on down to that description box, go, what's that say? My sci-fi and romance novels? What's that? Am I RM Kelly pen name? <gasps> For all of my saucy romance books, go grab something to read while you're planning your big move get a little spicy romance read so that you can relax before bed and wake up manifesting your moving dreams. <laughs>